So good afternoon, parents, students, and staff. Uh, I'm very honored to be able to bring you an update about our head of school search process. Um, as you may know, back in May, we initiated a search process for the next leader for TIS. And while I'm very honored to be the interim head of school for uh, this current academic year, it was really important to me and especially to the board that we find someone who could bring stability to the school and continue to lead the school past 2020 and uh, for, for the coming years. Our search process was as collaborative as uh, COVID would allow us to be. Uh, we had a, a panel interview process uh, where members of the leadership team and teachers and staff interviewed candidates and then uh, shortlisted candidates who the board then uh, interviewed a number of times. And then uh, we had a top candidate that really rose to the top and we presented this candidate to the school community um, and, and really seeking um, reaffirmation that, that we had found the right fit. I'm very uh, excited and honored to be able to announce that Mr. Patrick Herworth uh, has been appointed or has accepted a four-year contract to be the head of school at TIS beginning August of 2021. And, uh, you know, because uh, we're able to, we, we actually have Patrick here with us now. Hi, Patrick, how are you doing? I'm very well, Howard, how are you? Nice to see you, thanks for the uh, greeting. <laughs> thank you, and uh, congratulations on, on being uh, appointed, or thank you for accepting the, the position as head of school beginning in, in August of next year. Um, just wanted to share briefly with, with our community a little bit about you and to get a chance to meet you. Uh, Patrick is currently serving as the head of school at the International School of Beijing, a premier school with a long history of serving families in Beijing. Uh, he was born in the UK, as you'll be able to tell from his accent, uh, and he started his career there before going overseas uh, quite early on in his career. And he and his wife, Karen, will be joining TIS in August of 2021. So about one year from now, uh, probably a few weeks short of that. And uh, Patrick, maybe just tell us a little bit about yourself I know one of the things that, that people kept uh, commenting on uh, in your application was that you have such a diverse international background and you really um, invested yourself into the schools that you served and uh, you, you have a very diverse background. So maybe you could tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, thank you, Howard, and uh, greetings, everybody. It's nice to uh, have a chance to say hello and uh, I'm very humbled and honored by the opportunity to serve as the next head of school at TIS, so thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, Howard, you're right. Uh, Karen, my wife and I, we set out on our international education journey in Switzerland a long time ago now, uh, back in the last century. Uh, and we spent a good number of years in, the, in Western Europe before heading to the United States, which is where my wife is from, uh, 12 years there, and then over to Asia. So we've been in Asia now since 2015 where I served as high school principal at uh, Hong Kong International School, just across the water from you, and then up in Beijing uh, since uh, 2017 as the head of school. And, and it's been an, an intentional series of decisions to try to gather that international uh, experience, uh, to, to look at education and how schools function through the eyes of um, different cultures, different parents. Uh, and it's um, great to see how much we all have in common around the world and able to uh, uh, observe also those differences in the in the schools in which we've served. So yeah, it's, um, yeah. it's been a fascinating time so far. Yeah, I agree. And I, I think uh, you bring that unique perspective of serving in Hong Kong and serving in, in mainland China as well, uh, and in both very successful schools and, uh, and also very large schools as well. So uh, I think it's gonna be a very good fit for, for TIS and we look forward to learning from your experience and uh, what are, what are you looking forward to in, in coming to TIS or coming to Macau? Well, as you know, Harold, I was on your campus uh, back in, the, uh, I think it was uh, February of 2018 for the ACAMIS conference. I uh, spent a good couple of days there and it just felt like a really good, uh, warm, uh, friendly community, uh, an interesting school. Um, uh, and then when you dig a little bit more, uh, do your research, uh, not just in the run up to the interview process, but uh, you know, once you've been to visit a school, you always keep an eye on it <clears throat> and you know people who know people and uh, I'm particularly attracted as, as, as you'd expect to you know your guiding statements your philosophy 
your stated belief in what uh, education should be, which is uh, obviously that balance between taking care of every child's needs in terms of the social emotional uh, needs of the, of the students, but also you know, strong academic standards, high academic standards. Um, and the terminology and the language you use uh, within those guiding statements just feels like a really good fit to me. Mm. Uh, where I've been on, in my uh, career so far and where I feel most comfortable in terms of leading education and leading schools. Um, and then, you know, Macau is a, a place we visited with some frequency. My wife and I first visited Macau in 1996, <laughs> I seem to remember, uh, as part of our first ever trip down to, uh, into Asia. <clears throat> and then frequent visits from uh, Hong Kong when we lived there as well. Um, you know, and my wife and I, we, our children are grown up. Uh, and we're looking for a part of the world that gives us not only stimulating work environment and great challenge uh, within the context of the school, but also a chance to have some good uh, distractions and balance outside of school as well. So we love uh, the sea, we love um, uh, restaurants, uh, we love that area in terms of its accessibility and proximity uh, for travel when travel becomes possible again. So we feel very, uh, very much at home uh, in that neck of the woods. Great. And, you know, we're certainly looking forward to being able to connect and collaborate with you over this coming year um, and then having you join us in August of 2021. And uh, obviously, you still have a full time job as head of school in, in uh, ISB. And, uh, you know, I know all too well just how, how demanding of a job it is, but it is a unique opportunity that we have where we can continue to dialogue and connect and work together over this coming year. So I'm, I'm really looking mm -hmm. forward to that, Patrick. Yeah, me too. And it's good to know that we're just a, a Zoom away to keep that collaboration going and then hopefully a chance for me to visit uh, the school before uh, my commitment begins next August if the travel allows us to do so. But I'm looking forward to getting a chance to meet everyone there uh, and to uh, get to know the community uh, as well as I possibly can. Great, great. Well, on behalf of the board and, and the whole TIS community, we want to welcome you and Karen to, to TIS and a wonderful SAR of Macau. And we hope that your year at ISB is fantastic and rewarding. And uh, our best wishes to all of you down there as well, uh, Howard, for a good school year. And thanks again for your time. Great. Thank you so much. Have a great start of the school year and uh, a great week. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.